Hi, this is Tweek. Welcome to another episode of Tweaks with Tweek. Today we're going to make a bumblebee out of styrofoam and fabric. So grab your glue gun and join us. Supplies you'll need for this project are styrofoam in the half size ball, depending on the size of your bee, would depend on which size you need. You need a bigger size for the body and a smaller size for the head. You'll need fabric, cotton fabric. I chose black and yellow, one yard of each. You will need some pipe cleaners. You will need some wire, a couple of beads, cardstock paper, and some lace a scissors, an X-Acto knife, a little bit of cardboard, and some hot glue. So let's get started. We begin the project by cutting up the fabric. I took the one yard piece of each fabric and cut it into strips. I'm looking for about a one inch square for each little piece. And I went through the whole yard because I figured I was gonna use it all and I very nearly did. And we take each square and I used my scoring tool to just put a line in the styrofoam so I could kind of keep my pattern going. I start out with black and I take the little black fabric pieces and with black it doesn't really matter which side is out. We just put the black fabric down and punch it into the styrofoam. And you're gonna do that repeatedly over and over and over till you fill the area that I wanted to fill with the black. Then we do the same with the yellow. Again, I score, very lightly score the styrofoam so I can keep my pattern where I want it to be. And I fill that up with the yellow fabric. This time I want the, the fabric color side to be out so that you get, when you punch it in, you do get a variation of the colors, but I want to keep the bright side out and punch it in to the styrofoam until you fill up that area with the yellow. Now that did take a few hours to finish off the ball, isn't that cute? What I'm going to do now is to look for any places where I have, may have missed or a piece of fabric may have fallen out. And I'm just going to find that space and punch the fabric in. Got lots of extra fabric here. The little square, punch it in. If you see anywhere where you want a little more color, we're done with the body. Now I'm gonna start working on the head. And the head's the same process, but I took another, let's see, this is a, a six inch ball, just about a six inch ball. And I wanna buddy it up with the body. But I wanted to cut off some of it so that it would sit more flush. See that? With the body as the bee would, and I'm going to do his whole head in black. I don't have to do any scoring. I just have to get my black fabric and away I go. I have got a lot of black fabric. So, first punch done, here we go. This is when you put on a movie, listen to some music, have a bee making session with your friends. It's all good. So I've taken me about an hour to go around this six inch ball. And let's hold up the bee body. The bee body. Yep. And I had flattened off this part of the circle and that's how it's gonna fit together. What I'm gonna have to do is add a little more black fabric into that area there so you don't see the styrofoam. So I'm just pushing the fabric in one little square at a time. Now let's see. I'm gonna go back and make sure. Wow, that's gonna look 
great. Okay, be body, be head. All right, this is what we're gonna do. We'll take a piece of cardboard. Now this was just really um, thin enough I can just cut it with a scissors. So I'm not gonna get my X-Acto knife out for this, but I'm gonna put the bee down and I'm just gonna very roughly go around to get an idea. I want it to be a little smaller than the actual bee body. And this should be easy enough just to go around with my scissors. Here we go. Okay, so bee body will go here. Good. And the head will go here. So I'm gonna put, with using hot glue, I'm gonna put the bee body down first. Okay, the important thing is for it to adhere to the paper. So I'm gonna start laying it on thicker before it gets too cold. Okay, bee body is attached. Good. So it comes and makes it nice and light. The only thing is, I positioned the bee body a little bit off. I see that now. Let's see if that's gonna matter. Yeah. I'm gonna pull a little more of this off. I'm gonna give it a lot of glue this time. I'm gonna do this first and that. Doesn't look so good on the back. I'll have to think of some way to take care of that. So we've got our body attached. I'm going to flip this over and fix this back by giving it a little extra strength. Cut out another piece that will help make the neck more sturdy and it looks nicer. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this on. Wings or antenna? Okay, there we go. I'm gonna go with the wings first. Here's how we made the wings. I wanted delicacy and I have cardboard. I had some white cardboard that's, um, it's, it's a little thicker than I wanted. Paper was not as thick as I wanted. So I went with cardstock paper and I took two pieces of it and folded it in half. Okay. Then I drew out a wing pattern and cut that out. My bee is going to be at rest, so her wings are going to be laying more flat across her back. So I cut out a bigger wing and I cut out two smaller wings. Now to hook this all together, I took this now four pieces of cardstock and I just added a little bit of glue to keep them all together. Makes for a nice thickness and I took some lace fabric that I had found. Six inch wide and it just has a little bit of a pattern and some sparklies on it. I just laid the wing down and I'm going to use just enough fabric to come back over the wing again. Okay, and cut out that piece. This is my way of creating a fancy wing. I'm going to lay down a little bit of glue now this time, be careful, <laughs> be careful, be careful, because this glue is hot. I'm just gonna go zigzaggy around on the paper. I just let that fabric sit on the glue and see how it sticks. So I'm gonna flip it over and do the same on this side. Just enough to let the fabric adhere and then carefully lay it over because don't get burned. Just letting it sit and after a few seconds I just give it a little pat. Done. Now once I have that all adhered I'm going to very simply just go around the edge and cut. We've got our wings. Two larger wings and two smaller wings. Let's see how we go. Yes, like that. So now I'm going to adhere them to the body. I want to tuck them in a little bit and would come up a little closer to their neck because that's where their, their wings are attached. So I'm gonna take some hot glue and tuck them in a little bit and glue them tight. I like that. Go. Give 
a little bit of a tuck and then lay it flat. I want the wing to kind of look like it came out of her body there. And the fabric will kind of hide that. And in a moment, you'll see if I was successful. Ha ha! Look at that bee wing. What do you think? Okay, I'm going to come in right about here and I'm going to lay down a bunch of glue and tuck her wing into the fabric. Let me go back to this. I think that's where I want the positioning to be. Close up to her little neck there. And I'm going to pull back a little bit on the fabric. Tuck the wing in. I've got the two bigger wings affixed. <laughs> oh, such a pretty little bee. Now I'm going to put the two little ones like this. And these little guys just buddy up next to the big ones. So I'm just going to tuck them in like that on either side and we'll have our bee wings done. And let the glue get on both the wing and the fabric so that this little guy can sit in there. Yep. Okay, I like this. See, that's going to stay. Ready for takeoff, right? That's how far we are. What do we got left to do here? I want to add some antennas. And let's see, with that, I'm going to... I took a couple of beads that I had. Glass beads on some of this wire. This is picture hanging wire. And for this, I like that it's bendable. I've got to decide how long I want my bee antenna to be. I'm going to push it into the fabric with a little bit of glue and to get it to stick into the styrofoam. All right, so I'm going to go about six inches. I'm using a nice hefty cutter here because this is pretty strong picture hanging wire. Oh, there it goes. And I'll cut another one of the same length. I like this wire because it's, I don't have to do anything to it. It's got some shine, it's got strength, it's bendable, so it will make a very good antenna. Picture wire, not just for pictures. Oh, that one went really well. All right, so I've got my two lengths. And I'm going to take a little bit of hot glue and push this wire into the beads. See that? And I'm going to put a little, little hot glue on the end there and bring the bead back. And I don't even mind if that little bead of glue sits on the end there. But that will secure the bead. Isn't that cute? And now I'm going to do another. Okay, a little bit of glue on the end. Bring it back up. Okay, attached. Let that dry for a second. So we have our two antennas. Next, time to attach them to the bee head. I'm thinking right about, right about in there. As I thought, wire goes right into the styrofoam. Will it stay? It will stay because I'm going to add a little bit of glue way down in. And then I'm going to scrunch the fabric around it. So that's, it's in there. Right. So I'm again measure. I think that other antenna should go. Push it in. Let's see, they're about the same length. And a little bit more of a push. And then I'm going to put a little tiny bit of glue way down in there. And let the fabric help to keep it in place. Just by gently tucking the fabric in and around. We got them. <laughs> What's next? We need a stinger, don't we? We absolutely need a stinger. Taking a piece of black pipe cleaner and I'm going to twist it up. Okay. Stinger. This one is non-lethal. <laughs> I 
And I'm going to figure out how much do I want. Just a little bit sticking out, so I'm going to cut this back. That gives me a nice sharp pokey edge, too, to get into the styrofoam. Okay, B, here it goes. We've got her tail. Excuse me, we've got her stinger. And I'm going to put just a little bit of glue. I've got a spot in her rear end here. <laughs> the stinger's going to go. Push in. Again, let the fabric come in around it to hold it in place. It seems a little long. I might go half on the stinger there. B. And there's her little stinger. All we have left <laughs> this B is to put a hanger so that we can hang her someplace. So I'm going to flip her over very gently. Everybody's staying in place good. And I'm just going to use another pipe cleaner to make a nice little hanger for her. Stick the pipe cleaner in. I'm going to put this piece of board over the top. And I'm going to really press it in. And there you have it. Look at her. She's fuzzy, she's bumbly, and she's ready for any party, including, to my sister, a bridal shower. She'd be beautiful. Yes, she would. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell so you know when our next episode will be. Until then, I hope you have a beautiful day. I know I will. See you again.